guys I want to welcome you back to the channel this is the digital review in case you're wondering in this video we will be talking about wine in a minute I'm going to give you the name of this glorious wine that I want you to try and I'll be right back all right so it has been a while since I've done a wine review um, however I have tried many different types of wine bottles since we last spoke I believe the last video I showed you uh, was St. Aubergine, which is really sweet, and I compared that to a Barefoot uh, Sweet Red Blend. Uh, and I believe the Sweet Red Blend was kind of further up the chain. Remember, the chain starts down at the bottom. This is your Moscato. And if we're going up the mountain, up the chain, we get to semi-dry, a little bit over the cliff, like your blends, and then the complete drop-off on the other side would be your Merlots and your dry wines. I am never going to get to that point. I just don't want to be the dry wine guy. Um, I like a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sweetness, so I'm a semi-dry blend. That's probably the furthest I'll go. Pinot Noir, the Cajun Oak Cab. Um, I got some great light Tuscany type wines to tell you about, but that'll be down the road. Uh, but for now, today's subject is going to be this guy. And this is Banished by 19 Crimes. And you can get this at your local uh, grocery store, wine place, Costco, etc. For about eleven dollars a bottle, ten dollars a bottle. You buy it in bulk, six, I think, six bottles uh, for forty-eight bucks at Costco, something like that. So that's really a good deal. And this is a wine that uh, you know you can take to a party, you can take to a, a dinner with a young lady or a young guy, and put it on the table and feel confident with what you've done. You're not gonna get talked about, you're not gonna get laughed at, you know, it's not gonna bank, break the bank, um, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not a cheap bottle of wine, it's not Ripple, it's 10 bucks, it tastes like 20, 25, and um, it's good. It's something that, you know, it is a red blend, and when you open the cork here, you smell it, you're gonna smell a lot of cherries, vanilla, dark chocolate, blueberries, a little bit of plums, stuff like that. That's what you're gonna smell. It's not acidic, it's not oaky base, should I say. Um, and I like it better, um, a little chilled. You know, some people like the wine room temperature. I like mine a little chilled. Now this is room temperature, okay? When you drink this wine, it's like boom on the, on the front end and then it simmers down and dissipates. Uh, one more time. It's like that punch on the front end and then it dissipates. Okay, so when you take this, when you drink this chilled, um, it's just smooth the whole way through. You know, the texture is very thick, very dark purplish. It is a velvety, medium or full body type wine. It will coat your stomach. Um, I have drank a whole bottle of this. I did not feel queasy the next day, and this is more towards the blend compared to Saint or uh, Barefoot Sweet Red Blend. So if you are done with Sweet Red Blend, and this is exactly where I went to. I went to like the Apothic Reds, the Menage a Trois, the Josh, uh, I think it's 1.0. Um, if you're in that range and you want to try something different, give this a shot. This is the Banished by 19 Crimes. You can pair this with like your pork chops, your ribeyes. Um, I wouldn't say chicken. I'd say more of your fatty or your your fatty meats or your thicker um, cuts of meat, your sirloins, lamb chops, stuff like that. So what you can pair it with. And yeah, for you know eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars, this is a good bottle of wine. Definitely better than the Sweet Red Blend by Barefoot. Okay, definitely better than the Apothic Red. So if you're in that Apothic Red range. Give this a shot. But that's it. I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm going to finish this up. I got a lot of other ones that I want to share with you. I've just been really busy. But in the meantime, if you could hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, help me get to a thousand channel, a thousand subscribers, a thousand views for this video, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.